India successfully conducted a training launch of the Agni-4 intermediate-range ballistic missile from APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha on Monday, providing a significant boost to the country's military capabilities. The test was part of routine user training launches carried out under the aegis of the Strategic Forces Command. According to a brief statement from the Defense Ministry, the launch validated all operational parameters, as well as the system's reliability. This missile can strike a target, 4,000 kilometers. Furthermore, the successful test confirms India's policy of having a credible minimum deterrence capability. The test comes amid the ongoing military conflict with China in eastern Ladakh, which has now entered its third year and shows no signs of abating in the high altitude region. The nuclear capable Agni 4 ballistic missile is the fourth in the Agni series of missiles developed by the DRDO. The missile has two stages of solid propulsion and a payload with a re entry heat shield. The road mobile Agni 4 and Agni 5 are primarily intended to deter China, which has a formidable arsenal of long-range missiles that can target any Indian city. Agni 4 has a range of approximately 4,000 kilometers, and, if launched from the northeastern part of India, it is capable of striking targets, nearly all of China, including Beijing. The Agni 5 brings the northernmost part of China within its strike. And, if the 8,000-kilometer theory is true, then India can strike whole of China, even if the missile is launched from southern India. Agni-2, if launched from a strategic location, can target western, central, and southern China. And, the shorter-range Agni missiles, on the other hand, are planned for Pakistan. Weighing 17,000 kilograms, the Agni-4 missile is 20 meters long, and 1.2 meters in diameter. The system's accuracy and ability to carry a nuclear warhead weighing up to 1,000 kilograms make it one of the most lethal missiles in India's arsenal. The DRDO is also developing maneuvering warheads or intelligent re-entry vehicles to defeat enemy ballistic missile defense systems as well as MIRVs, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles for the Agni missiles. An MIRV payload is essentially a single missile, capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads, each programmed to strike a different target. In October of last year, the SFC also conducted a user launch of the three-stage solid-fueled Agni-5 missile. Deterrence Capability of India No country wants war, but when it is unavoidable, a country must be prepared, not only to attack the enemy, but also to defend its territory. Having a missile arsenal, capable of striking long distances, serves as a deterrent, but an effective shield to stop incoming missiles is also critical for a nation's defense. A ballistic missile defense BMD system intercepts and destroys an incoming ballistic missile on its trajectory well before it reaches its target. To counter hostile aerial attacks, India has a two-tiered homegrown interceptor missile system. The two-tiered system includes the Prithvi Defense Vehicle PDV, which can destroy incoming targets at high altitude above 150 kilometers. And the Advanced Air Defense AAD missile is an endo-atmospheric interceptor that can engage hostile missiles at an altitude of 30 kilometers. The system is designed to track and destroy incoming missiles, both inside and outside the Earth's atmosphere. India is also developing a long-range, intercontinental ballistic missile, capable of striking targets 12,000 kilometers away. It is believed to be the Agni-6 missile, capable of carrying up to 10 MIRV warheads, and it is most likely a three-stage missile, with the first stage borrowed from ISRO's PSLV. However, the DRDO has refused to confirm the missile's range. If this is true, then it is sure to send shivers down enemies' spine. According to a senior DRDO scientist, the new generation Agni-6 missile will be sleeker, easily transportable, and easier to deploy. It will have the capability to be launched from submarine and from land-based launches. 
The Agni series of missiles includes Agni-1, Agni-2, Agni-3, Agni-4, and Agni-5. The range of these missiles is between 700 km to 5000 km, and are aimed at providing deterrence to the enemy. So the question is how far India is ready to deter enemy missiles. China's missile development programs began in the 1950s, with Russian assistance and Chinese missiles can reach all of India. While the government of India launched the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program in 1983, which is entirely indigenous. And Prithvi was the first missile to be developed under the program. But for minimum deterrence, India need to develop a modest force of Prithvi missiles and Agni missiles. One of the main advantages of Agni missiles is that they all use solid fuel, which significantly reduces their launch time. Some of the Chinese missiles use liquid propellant, which take time to launch compared to solid-fueled missiles because of the time needed to fuel the missile. Agni-5 also has multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRVs, with each missile carrying two to ten separate nuclear warheads, each warhead can be targeted differently. China has reportedly admitted that India's Agni-5 is comparable to its DF-26 ICBM, also known as the Guam Killer. But what goes against India is that it is not accurately known how many Agni-4 or Agni-5 missiles are ready for deployment. And if the country can project an image of having around 500 nuclear warheads, which India can build in 12 to 15 years, if it begins the program and disperses them across its vast area, the country will have a credible deterrent.